Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Power. Hum aapke host aapke dost Roy. Friends, aaj hum baat kar rahe hain series 5 ki jahan pe jiski topic hai introduction to Euclid's geometry. Ye hai hamari episode number 3. Aaj baat karenge some of Euclid's important postulates ki. So friends, aapko malum hai first episode mein we talked about a brief history about history about geometry. And then uh, you know how um, Euclid came in and, and how the work that Euclid did was so so important. Uh, to what we know today as geometry. And where we saw two methods that we talked about some of the important axioms of Euclid. So our friends, we are going to talk about some of the important postulates. So there are actually five specific postulates also that we want to talk about in this particular series. So Abhi, let us quickly go through them and then we will expand and explain each one of them. So pehli wali hai, a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. So, agar, and, and friends, like we said, we will discuss in each one in detail. Aapko malo mein postulates uh, are assumptions, friends, that Euclid ne kaha, assumptions that relate to geometry. So, jo bhi postulates hum dekhenge aad, we, we will see how they are basically related to geometry. So, first one is saying, uh, a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. Postulate number two, a terminated line can be produced indefinitely. Third postulate says, it states that a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. Postulate number four, all right angles are equal to one another. And finally, those are the fifth postulate. So fifth postulate is it's a little bit lengthy and let's go through it. If a straight line falling on two other straight lines makes the interior angles on same side of it taken together less than two right angles, then two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side on which some of angles is less than two right angles. So friends, as you can see, ye jo fourth wali hai, uh, the fifth postulate, jo hai, it's a little bit more complex. It sounds a little bit complex because it is a little bit complex. Isse hum, we will do it in the next uh, webisode. So aaj ke is webisode, mein, we are going to actually focus on the first four. So chali, if, dosto, let us look into each one of them and, and we'll find out what they actually mean. Now, so the first one says, a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. So, man lije, aapke paas ek point hai like this and let us call it point P. Now, aur aap, aapko ek aur point di gai hai point Q. So, what it is saying is that agar aapke paas ek point P hai and, and wahaan se aapke paas ek aur point hai point Q. So, point P se point Q you can actually draw a straight line. So, man, Lijit, this is, yeah, I mean, this is what happens, friends, jab aap, when you uh, try to draw with your free hand. Uh, but, chali, um, basically, I think you are getting the point here. Ki, so, if we have point P thi and a point thi Q, so between these two points, we always ek straight line draw kar sakte hai. Now, friends, Euclid actually stopped off saying that ki, this is the only straight line that you can draw between two points. But, unke, uh, in his work, he actually continuously made uh, reference key or he implied that there is only one straight line that can be drawn. Now, agar aap dekho ke, friends, yahan pe what we have done is we have taken a point A and we have taken a point B. So, man lije, friends, a kaam karte hai. there is a point here and there is a point here, there is a point here and in ko naam dete hai, man lije, we call this point as C1, uh, this is C1, this point is C2 and this point is C3 and similarly also from B, man lije, we we put a point here, we put a point here, we put a point here. So, this is D1, this is D2, and this is D3. Right? Now, those are the first postulate. Hai, it says straight line may be drawn between uh, from one point to another. So, if you have A se shuru karte ho, and you have point C1, hai, you can draw a straight line like this AC1. Similarly, you can draw a straight line AC2, AC3, and AB. Right? Because B is a point. So, just like you AC1, AC2, AC3, kar rahe ho, kar ke you can join A, B. Now, if you look point B, ko dekhte ho, then you actually uh, have a point D1. So, you can join B, D1. You can draw a straight line B, D1. Similarly, you uh, line draw kar sakte ho B, D2 and B, D3. And similarly, from B, say, you can draw a straight line B, A. But, you notice kar rahe ho, dosa, ye jo B, A hai, AB is the same as BA. Iska matlab ye hua, so it is evident that there is only one straight line between two points. 
So because also this is a, a, it's a, it's a truth, universal truth, we're calling it an axiom that uh, given two distinct points, there is only one unique line that passes through them or basically, agar aapko koi bhi do point di jati hai, right? This is the only straight line that you can actually draw between any two given points. So, it is also the first uh, postulate. Let's look at the second postulate. Second postulate says also a terminated line can be produced indefinitely. So, maan lije, abhi abhi humne baat ki hai, agar aapke paas ek point hai A, and, uh, and then agar aapke paas ek point hai B. So, hum between A and B, we can always draw a straight line. But Euclid ne kaha dosto, ki ye jo straight line abhi abhi aapne draw ki hai, this actually can be extended on this side. And this can be extended on this side. So, and then that is why friends, we actually represent line by a arrow. Agar aap notice karoge dosto, all the things, chale quickly, if you just, uh, if you just look back, abhi abhi humne jo ki hai. We talked about, um, you know, humne abhi abhi we saw these, uh, ye jo postulate one mein, jab kabhi hum line draw kar rahe hain, Aap notice kar rahe ho, there is an arrow at the end of these lines, right? So, and, and th this is the reason why, friends, we have this arrow at the end of these lines because, because, uh, jo straight line hai, it actually extends indefinitely on both sides. This is the second postulate. So, aap kabhi nahi keh sakte ho ki ye aapki line hai. Because if you say this is the line, but then this line can also be extended here. So, to, to show that a line continuously extend ho rahi hai on both the ends, you actually put an arrow. Aap recall karoge dosto, hamari jo uh, series 4, thi, jahan pe we talked about linear equations, two variables and graphs. So, and we saw ki how a linear equation basically represents a straight line. So, waha jab bhi humne straight line draw ki thi, again, we put arrows at the end. And that is again, friends, to just show that the lines actually extend indefinitely on both sides. And those are we know in today's uh, you know terminology ye jo point hai, uh, the the line uh, the portion of the line between uh, marked by the two points is line segment right now chale, dosto, let us look at the third uh, postulate now third postulate states a circle can be drawn with any center and with any radius so friends this is a pretty straightforward one and uh, and it means uh, what it says Humne pe to save some time, we have drawn some circles here for us. So, pe friends, basically, we uh, have different different centers li hai, and we have taken different different radiuses. So, for example, this circle, mein, this is our center and this is our radius. Chali, isa R1 kehte hai. For this circle, this is our center, this is our radius. Let's call it R2. So, this circle, mein, this is our center, this is our radius, R3. So, that is what Euclid was saying that basically, in a plane, mein, you can take any point as center and you can take any amount of radius and you can draw, you should be able to draw a circle. Now, friends, now we will talk about the last point, last uh, postulate. So, that is uh, all right angles are equal to one another. So, chali dosto, now what we have done is we have, we have drawn some right angles. So, aap yahan pe dekhoge, we have all kinds of right angles here. So, some of them, so th these are the two straight ones. So, ye thodi choti hai and this is a little bit bigger version. And then this is tilted to the right, right? Agar aap, if you think ki this is a straight line, so this is little bit tilted this side. Now, this one is tilted on the other side. So, this is again tilted this side and this is tilted this side. So, the point we are trying to make is those, so no matter how you draw a right angle, ye jo aapki measure hai, the, the, the amount or the degree of the angle hai, this is always 90 degrees. So, you just measure here that is always same and aapko malum hai, right angle ke liye, this is always 90 degrees. So, so Euclid ne kaha ki jo all right angles are equal. Matlab, he meant the measure of the right angles, they are always the same. No matter aap kaise karke aap angle, right angle draw karte ho, but the amount jo hogi, angle ki, that angle value of the angle will be always the same. So, friends, uh, Aaj ke is webisode mein itna hai. Agle webisode mein we will talk about the postulate 5. So, us webisode mein fir milenge. Tab tak le shukriya. Thanyavad.